Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels this morning. Today is April the 25th of 2023 and I'd like to share another prophetic word with you from the Lord today. As I have shared in the past with you, the way I receive prophetic word from the Lord is through journaling. As the Lord speaks, I write down what he is saying. And so these words that I am sharing with you are just as they have been received. And so in that, they come across as a letter from the Lord. And of course, they are always encouraging words because the Lord is building his people, building his church, and his message is a message of encouragement for the body of Christ. This word today is similar in that it reads as a letter. And in that, the Lord is addressing many topics. And so you may notice, as I read through this word, that there is a main message, but there are many things he is addressing. And so I hope that as you listen, you can receive it as a letter from the Lord. This word today is titled, Increase is Coming to the Household of God. I'll begin reading it with scripture. Jeremiah 30 verses 3 through 9. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will bring my people Israel and Judah back from captivity and restore them to the land I gave their forefathers to possess, says the Lord. In that day, declares the Lord Almighty, I will break the yoke off their necks and will tear off their bonds. No longer will foreigners enslave them. Instead, they will serve the Lord their God and David their king, whom I will raise up for them. This passage of scripture from Jeremiah, of course, speaks of the people of Israel. It is a promise to them of restoration. And that promise of restoration from the Lord is not just for the people of Israel, but it is also for the people of God. God is a God of restoration, and his heart is to restore back to us all that has been stolen from us by the enemy. Isaiah 58 verses 5 through 6 Is this the kind of fast I have chosen? Only a day for people to humble themselves? Is it only for bowing one's head like a reed and lying in sackcloth and ashes? Is that what you call a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? to loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. This passage of scripture from the book of Isaiah similarly is a promise of God and an unveiling of his heart for people. His intention is to break the yokes the bondages, and to set people free from oppression. I'll begin reading this word. Take hold of my garments and pull, says the Lord. Do not let go, but hold on, for I am taking you through trial, and you will be safe in my arms. I am opening doors of opportunity to you. You will not be disappointed. I have heard your call, your cry for help. I have heard the cry of your heart to be changed. I am changing you. I am taking you from death to life. You cannot understand the work I am doing in you. You are unable to comprehend the scope of my plan 
to reach the nations in this day. I am reaching out over the earth to bring in those who have been without hope, and I am sending my chosen ones out in this hour with my message of hope. This is the work I am doing in this day. Everything in the lives of my people that does not line up with my word will be removed. The process is in progress. The walls of protection are coming down and I am making my people vulnerable. Their guards are coming down. They will no longer be able to cut themselves off from the needs of the people, but their own lives will be poured out for the lost. Those things that have kept my people bound and unable to relate to the poor are being removed. Your trial and your tribulation is for a short while, and then the breakthrough will come as my spirit is poured out into the streets and upon all flesh, says the Lord. Do not give up, do not lose hope, for at the appointed time the floodgates of heaven shall be opened and abundant blessings shall be released upon those who have not lost hope. I will heal you, I will bring healing into your life, and your healing will come quickly. Take the road less traveled. Do not compromise. The rod of authority I have promised you is about to be raised up. It will take you into the places I have prepared for you to go. Do not doubt the words spoken to you. Do not quit the work I have given you to do. Do not back down to the opportunity to take ground. Do not let go of the ground that I have given you. Stand strong. Keep the ground. It is yours. You will gain greater areas of influence, for I am setting you upon a rock that is unshakable. You shall go out to gain increase. Giftings are being released and shaken up. Nothing planted in you will be fruitless, says the Lord, but everything will blossom and bear fruit. All heaven declares the glory of the risen Lord. All earth shouts of the goodness of God. Extend your tent pegs and get ready for increase. Much is about to be added to the household of God. Much fruit is about to appear on the vine. I will guide and direct you. I will give you understanding of finances for the kingdom of God. I will make you aware of the heart of God for your finances. You will not flounder in decisions regarding them, but I will make it clear where they are to be used. By grace, it is by grace that you will go through the fire unharmed. Continue in the way that has been laid out to you. You will be brought into the promised land with gladness and great joy. You shall be transformed into the image of Christ. You shall go out with praise and be led forth with peace. Hold on to everything that has been released to you and do not back down from the challenge that is set before you, for the kingdom is taken by force. Be confident in the Lord. He will be your strength and your joy. You will go forth with great power and anointing. You will be instrumental in the tearing down of the old and the building up of the new, says the Lord. This is a new day. The old is passing away, and the new is being birthed into your midst. You will see a change, for all things will be made new. I am bringing the sheep into the fold. I am building my church. A fresh and sincere offering is rising up to my throne. I am hearing the cries of the people. I am preparing a place for the lost 
to come into the household of God. I am birthing the heart of God into the hearts of my people. Their hearts are being set on fire for the lost, for those who haven't had a place. I am changing the hearts of the people, bringing down every high and lofty thing. It will be laid at Jesus' feet. I am bringing down the high places and raising up the low and making the way level. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. The old shall be torn down, and newness will come into the lives of those who choose to walk in the way of the Lord. There is a sound of the trampling of the nations. It is fierce and penetrating, and it will put everything under my feet. Every high and lofty thought is coming down. Every lie is being brought into captivity. Every trick of the enemy is being caught and exposed. I will pull down that which exalts itself above the knowledge of God. As we can see in this word today, there is a main theme of the Lord's message to us. And he is revealing his heart of love for those who are lost. And this is how he is building his church. He is adding to his church. And the way he is doing this is through his people. He has assigned us to be the ones who break the chains of injustice, who break the yoke of oppression, by bringing the message of salvation to the lost. And once again, the Lord speaks of the process He is taking us through to bring in the lost. He is working in our hearts to put a passion in them to see the lost saved. He is telling us that He's taking down our defenses, our walls, those things that have restricted us from connecting with those in the world to share the message of hope with. The Lord, too, is referring to the challenges we may be going through. But he's telling us not to give up, to press forward, to continue to take ground from the enemy to stand on the ground that we've already taken and not let it go, and to recognize that this is his plan in this day, to reach the nations. The content of this word today is not new. The Lord has been speaking about these things in other words. But I think the important thing here is to recognize that this is what's on the Lord's heart in this day. This is where he is taking his people because he is preparing the way for his return. And the event of bringing in the nations is one that takes place prior to his return. And so though these words may be familiar to us, I hope that we can all receive them as a refreshing of direction from the Lord, that we would be focused on those things he set before us that open doors to outreach, that we will know how to support the work of the kingdom of God, not only with our giftings, our talents, and the authority the Lord has given us, but also, as he mentions here, with our finances. The Lord is calling us all into ministry in this day. We are ministers of Christ in this fallen world. My prayer today is that we will all be on fire for the Lord's work that he will give us a vision of the harvest, of what he expects from us, even on a daily basis. And I pray that we will be willing to be used of him, that we won't pull back, but we will say, Yes, Lord, 
use me. I hope this word has encouraged you who are listening that the Lord is taking us into that acceptable fast, that he is preparing and opening the doors for us to be involved in reaching the lost. I hope this word today has blessed you. Thank you all for taking the time to listen, and may the Lord refresh you with the new thing he is doing. Be blessed, have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye for now.